Hey, have you ever wondered what this mesh networking is all about? How does it work? What can I do with it? Well, this is one in a series of videos designed to specifically answer these questions and get you up and running quickly using the Particle ecosystem. You generally want to have the latest firmware on your Particle devices. So in this video, we take you through the process of how simple it is to upgrade them to the latest all over the air. In this video, I wanted to show you how easy it was to upgrade the firmware on your Argon and Xenon. So in this video, we currently have two devices that we've uh, put on the network and onboarded them. And if I go to the devices section here and I look at Argon 2, which is the Argon that you can see in the video, it's at RC25, but 27 is the latest. And so that's the one that we want to upgrade to start with. And of course, if I signal it, we still see which device that is. And the easiest way I know of to do this is just to download some new firmware. And since uh, the new firmware is wanting 27 instead of 25, it will automatically upgrade. So to do that, we can just pick something like Tinker as an example, and I'll say use that as the example. And then we can go down here to devices and I can select the Argon as an example, and we can then flash. So we'll start the process of flashing and we'll see what happens on the Argon itself. And we can see kind of the LED process of going through the upgrade. So I thought this video would be beneficial because when you watch the LED, if you're impatient, it seems like it's hanging or it's not working. And it actually is working. Okay, so it looks like it has been upgraded. It's looking for Wi-Fi. It's on Wi-Fi, it's on the network, and it's breathing cyan, and that is all a good sign. So now if we look back uh, at our devices here, if I refresh and then click down, I see that I'm at 27, and it should be at 27. And yes, we can still signal it. So let's upgrade the Xenon now as well. And, you know, again, this is kind of a cool thing to me, at least, because um, this is all happening over Bluetooth. So what I've done is I've selected the Xenon over the Argon, and I'm going to just literally reflash the same Tinker firmware. 
and it's going to go through the process on the xenon, and we'll see what the flash, uh, flash signals look like and how long that takes. Okay, it looks like it has been upgraded and it looks like it's breathing cyan and back on the net. So if we go over here to refresh, we should see that refresh to 27. Oh, now it refreshed to 26 because actually I had 26 selected here. It did not do 27. So that's all right. You don't have to watch it again, um, but I will, after the video is over, upgrade it to 27 and we'll have everything all up to date. And that's the video on upgrading.